We have a lot coming up. I cannot believe that. We're, we're going to debut this show. We get a 14-2 win in Oakland? Uh, we was wronging everything we say in the pregame. <laughs> I'm the worried pre about what's show. happened in the past. Yeah. There's going to be a walk-off loss again yes. in Oakland. But no. That's a no. That's the beauty thing about baseball. Well, one thing I like the most is just they, they bring from uh, Seattle yeah. to Oakland that winning attitude. Yep. And besides that, five, they win the first game again. In the series. That's right. They haven't been doing that too much. All right. What's coming up after a break? We got the debut, ladies and gentlemen, of this new show, Late Night. With Chuck and Ozzy, we got theme music. By the way, Jay Leno, you bye-bye. Jay, Jay Leno? Jay Leno is gone. Well, he already is gone. He's done? Uh, Dave Letterman. Oh, he's Letterman gone. Letterman is gone. Uh, uh, they, they, why, Johnny looking, Carson? No, hey, gone. they're looking for... Oh, that's yeah. my favorite, Carson. All right. Well, you know what? After midnight, we can say and do whatever we want on this show. That is coming your way. The debut of Late Night with Chuck and Ozzy is coming your way next. From downtown Chicago, the sports and broadcasting center of the universe, it's Late Night with Chuck and Ozzy. Tonight, appearances by Dylan Cease, Johan Makata, Ilo Jimenez, Miguel Cairo, Jose Canseco, plus the one and only Elvis himself. I'm your announcer, Glenn Alejandro Morgan. And now, two men who really shouldn't be up this late, Chuck Garfine and Ozzy the Legend Guillen. Great job, buddy. Alejandro. Hey, well I've, I've been here for so long. Two years, maybe yeah. not way less than you guys. This is the best introduction <laughs> we ever have. That goes the legend. The first ballot Hall of Fame. This is the one. You learn for Alejandro? Yeah, I you know. He's too big for us. He'll be in LA <laughs> by next week. They like that. Hey, they by the way, like by the way, you want to talk about football? Yeah, he can He's talk about man. football. We're gonna talk about baseball and a whole other whole bunch of other things. By the way, this is not lit. I'm like George Burns. Wait a minute. We what? just watched a football game a few minutes ago. Yeah, 21 or whatever. Yeah, the White Sox had two touchdowns. Yeah, that's it. We just watched a football game. That hat looks really good on you. You know what, buddy? I could look good in anything. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my wife, she's going to see this. Say, I can't believe you were smoking there. I said, I wish. Yeah, yeah, we, we can't <laughs> smoke. I, I got my smoking friend right in front of me, Steve. Yeah. That's By the way, I think our crowd is either drunk or they haven't laughed in a long time because they're laughing at everything we say. By the way, it's two of ten. What do you think? Are they are drunk or they have sleep? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, uh, was this the greatest game ever? Ever in Oakland for the White Sox? Uh, the one to remember, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. When you see the opposite pitching, a, a position player pitching, you're like, yeah. whew, we're not going to the ninth inning facing that team because... That is, if it had been put in for a long time. I mean, Mancata, five hits, five RBIs. It's only the second time. That's the funny thing about this. That's happened in, for a guy in the second. Well, wait, wait, wait. Tomorrow, the radio station don't have anything to say anything about Moncada. That's true. That could be boring, boring sections. They might be talking about this show, I think, on the radio tomorrow. They should. They always do. Yeah, well, Moncada. We'll get to Moncada. <laughs> Hello, monkey. Good for you, yeah, buddy. You know, it wasn't a big applause. It was kind of like, yeah, I think he's back. I don't know. Maybe he's back. Remember what I told you. No worry about what you did in for four months. Yeah. The biggest month is right now. Right. The biggest 15 days. The yeah. people, White Sox fans, are gonna remember is the 15 days you, you play in the pennant race. That's right. what they're gonna remember. All right. So we have Jason Benetti and Gordon Beckham doing the broadcast here uh, tonight for the White Sox. Normally it's Jason and Steve. Uh, we noticed NBC Sports Bay Area, they have a different duo. They've got, well, we're going to show you, Dallas Braden and Glenn Kuyper. <laughs> I think Braden looked like a, I think Braden, Braden looked like a homeless guy. I, as I see that man on the street, I can hit a couple bucks. Here, buddy. <laughs> have a great one. Yeah, I mean... So I, I've never seen a broadcaster. I mean, Dallas Braden, a former Major League Baseball player. I've never seen a broadcaster with a beard like that and tattoos on the air. Well, because I'm not naked. I got a few tattoos. Okay. Just few, not like that. Right. But you know what? But, 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 but he's like you know, showing I'm them. sorry, all the Miami people. I know you listen to me. That mean, I thought it was Fidel Castro in the air. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 what? 
Yes. Well, Fidel Castro's alive. Jeez. Yeah, there that he is. He made what dead a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, it's funny because who between <laughs> Jason... Oh, did they, he look like Fidel Castro or not? He does. He Thank does. He. I look a little like him. Yes. But I'm trying to stay far away from that. Why? Why? Because, well, you had problems with that uh, like 10 I years ago. I was in Miami. Who care? Yeah. By the way, he looked like... What I mean, I cannot say you, uh, you look oh, like... He, he does look like him. Yes, I just, he does. I try not to stay away. I try to stay away from that. Don't worry. That's I the can't. best move. That's a great move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Jason Benetti, Steve Stone, who could pull that look off, you think? In that one? Most? Yes. Whew. I know. Not either one. Neither. No, because Jason is a... He's a, he's a go by his stuff, go by his business. Yeah. My, uh, my stepfather, I yeah. will show you later, maybe tomorrow, late show, I will say why I call him stepfather. Yeah, that's tomorrow. We have another I'm going to say why tomorrow. I call Jason Benetti stepfather. Yeah. And I don't think Tony going to pull up with that. No. You say, Tony, can you wear this? Nope. I ain't doing that. Why? I'm Steve Stone. You know who I am? I'm Steve Stone, buddy. I was a side young award in 1962. <laughs> He's not going to pull that one. 1980. 80? 1980. Wow, okay. He won 25 games, I think. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of bad hitters out there. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, I think he, 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 he was throwing so many sliders, I think, the whole uh, season. His oh, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Something nobody going to take away from you yeah. when you win the Cy Young Award. They we'll can say whatever they want. They can do when you win the Cy Young Award. Whew. Keep I your cap. All right, so before we get to the game, which was incredible, you got a good Oakland story. I mean, you go to Oakland... Crazy things happen, and we've got some <laughs> stuff coming up. Oh, I break three TV once. Three TVs. Three. Was that I, over fantasy I, I, football? I won't know you because they watch they was watching football game, yeah. and I hate that because they know what's into the game. Then, uh, oh my God, you know what? I have a uh, Brad Pitt uh, when he was film. Or he was filming film. Moneyball. No, he was watching, and I say, hey, can I for my charity event? Yeah. Then Brad Pitt signed it. He put like a cross. Like signing like a cross, like, what is this? And he said, no, that's the way you sign. So he uh, didn't sign his name, he just put No, he just put the cross, like little like a symbol. fancy, uh, like a symbol, there yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I said, I wanted to say nobody, but I will find out later on, Jesse was his signature. And oh my God, I can tell you so many. Oh, one day, we just, back game, and uh, Timo Perez dog for the ball. Mm -hmm. Get on the line in the eighth. Throw the ball to first base, and nobody was there. I'm gonna, I'm, you know, like that watching the game, all the Sunday boys roll all the way to what I was. I was so mad because I know now we got first, men on second base, yeah. they go ahead, I grab the ball, throw it, and it's a little bathroom in the corner. Yeah. Right, little bathroom there. That, the sooner I throw it, I'm gonna curse. What? I turn, and the ball hit me back right there. <laughs> and I got, Knocked out. I went down, and Hermie was around me. Hermie went, Hermie Snyder went down with me. You okay? I turned around, and I cursed. Yeah. Everybody said, you can laugh now. Yeah. You want to laugh, laugh. I turned around. Even Ozzy Jr. only was working for the White House. Then they was on the ground laughing. <laughs> I don't have any, it's like, bro. It's just like, and then what happened? Walk off. We're done. And I got to <laughs> after the game. I remember uh, Mark Burley bring eyes to my office. Hey, here you go, buddy. Not for your vodka, it's for your face. This thing goes. <laughs> I, I don't know what's funnier. Ozzy's story or <laughs> our, our audience that thinks everything. Oh, we've had Ozzy. Our audience, our audience <laughs> thinks has not been out of the house since the pandemic and is laughing at every <laughs> single thing that you say. <laughs> I thought that's a, Oh, my God. I got. We're going to talk about travel to Oakland. Yeah. We make it. We have to make okay, it. Yeah, okay. Um, should we talk about the game or keep going with this? Yeah, talk about the game. Why not? All right. All right, we'll go to the game. They won 14 to 2. Uh, play the game brought to you by Elgin Hyundai, home of the double guarantee. How about this, ladies and gentlemen? Elvis Andrews and Johan Moncada, they opened the game with back to back home runs. We were talking about the house of horrors that Oakland has been for the White Sox. Well, Elvis Andrews knows nothing about that. His first game since being released by the A's does this. You know what? This guy bring a lot of energy to the ball club. And my boy, please wake up. Oh, please wake up because the soon you wake up, people forgot how terrible you was for four months. Mm -hmm. How bad you was. I think this is now, nowadays, you bring this game to the to win the division, people would appreciate what you did.
just to win the division. Yeah, okay, so then you think, okay, it's 2 nothing. How about some more? They jump ahead to the second inning. The very next inning, here's Elvis Andrews. You know things are going well when you get an RBI single with this. Exit velocity was what? Exit velocity is overrated. Overrated. The exit velocity I like the two one we showed earlier. Yes. Out of the ballpark. Uh, speaking of which, it's Moncada again. What's gotten into him, you think? He listened to me. Oh. I talked to him about it. It's time to wake up, buddy. It's time. And by the way, that's right-handed too. Right-handed is being struggle. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right-hander, left-hander, no matter where he hit, he's had been struggle. I'm very glad for him to to step up tonight and do what he did. All right, so that was a home. That's a blast. Third of the game, fourth inning. You got Aloy Jimenez, who hit three, had three hits, three RBIs yesterday in Seattle. This is a two-run jack to make it eight nothing. Is he starting to learn? That's not how, right, how to be it. No to be a DH, because he was always saying, I can't DH, I need to be out there hitting, but now he's forced to DH more, and he's learning how to be a I DH, because there's an art to it. I think somebody told him, said, if you're not DHing, you'll be in Mexico playing. You cannot play the field. You'll be hurt so quick. You cannot run the bases. How are we gonna keep you healthy? Just like that. He home runs, you just walk through the bases. And that's guy do that. Man, this man is the best hitter they have for a long time. This guy, when he's healthy, He's, he's, he's a room producer. Yeah. If this guy can go out there and can carry the ball club, and nobody take that away from him because he's a great hitter. All right, and now we have Romy Gonzalez. He goes four for five, a single, a double, a three-run homer. This makes it 14 to nothing. Okay, you want the funny thing about it? You talk about T.A., you talk about where they're going to play uh, Andrew when T.A. coming back. How about this kid? This kid has been producing like, like crazy, same way with Zavala. A lot of people say, with Grandazzi back, we play Zavala. I think I like the idea. Play him first base, yeah. little be a DH, catch it once in a while because Zavala doing a tremendous sure job. One thing about this now, the next 30, 26 games they have left, you have to think with your 14. brain, not with your heart. All right, so look at these numbers here. Seventh time in franchise history, they've hit back-to-back -back leadoff home runs. Andrews, his first career leadoff home run. Moncada, first multi-homer game since 2019. The White Sox now <clears throat> 19 homers in their last 10 games. So, are they back? Are they officially back? Or what do you got to see more from the White Sox to say, this is the team we've been expecting all year? Uh, I think, I'm not going to say they're back. Not yet, because we see that before. We see that kind of action before, but uh, they're playing better. Yeah. They play better. They show last week uh, that when they played Seattle how good they can be, and I hope they continue to do it. But I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, wow, this is my team, because you never know. The way they play all summer, yeah. I say take back because when you play 100 games, 162 games, you got to be good for 10 days mm -hmm. by mistake. Yeah. And that's it right now, and I think that's a very important to do it right now because in the middle of the pennant race. All right, this is the most runs the Sox have ever scored in Oakland. Most runs. All right, well, you can put two, uh, two road trips together and they don't even get close to score those runs. They, they have tough time to score. We have, I would include myself yeah, as a player, as a manager, very tough time to score in Oakland. You know why? Not because the thing was bad. Oakland Athletics. They have a good pitching staff back right. then, too. Do you like my hat I gave you? It's an ugly hat, but I look good on it. So here's the story. I look like Bozo. You, no, you don't look like Bozo. You, know you can wear any fedora, and you're going to look great. I did? Yeah. I got a few in my house from Panama. The story behind that hat, do you ever see the movie Caddyshack? Yes, okay. of course I do. Okay. I just, you know, wasn't sure. So Cindy Morgan, who played Lacey Underall, the very good-looking, attractive woman. Okay, good. Say that because I know your wife, Liz, is sleeping. She's sleeping. Okay. She's, 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 she's not watching this. Uh, she came and visited the set. She showed up with that hat. That's the hat, not the same exact one, like not the one they used in the movie, yeah. but it's a replica of the hat that Ted Knight was wearing, and Rodney Dangerfield saw wow. it, and he goes, whoa, what'd you get? A, you get a free bowl of soup with that hat? By the way... That's a one crazy movie they, they, I watched. Well, they didn't even laugh at that. Well, it's silly. Well, they, 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 are they, they don't sleeping? watch it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. They don't watch yeah. it, but that's... I that's mean, it. I wasn't trying to deliver a big that's line, it. but that was kind of funny, and they were just snoozing. And by the way, this one of the best... You know what's funny? When you come from Latin America in 1980s, and that guy make you laugh. 
I don't know. understand yes. what it was saying. Larry but Dangerfield. The, the funny, yeah, the funny faces, yes. all the stuff. And back to school. Yeah. Woo. Funny thing. Yes. I want to do that. I want to go back to kindergarten with Adela. Yeah. Here, here's one of my favorite uh, jokes from uh, Rodney Dangerfield. What said his, his dating life was like shooting pool with a rope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right? uh, yes. Yeah. I, I told Steve uh, uh, early on a joke, yeah. but I'm not going to say it here. Yeah, it's not. No, it's clean. Well, it's a, it's a okay. clean. It's a clean. I think, I'm not saying we. It's a clean. Steve says no. No, it's a clean one. No, no curse, nothing, joke. but it's like, it, it's a funny one. Okay. Uh, Rodney also said that his, <laughs> his wife was so stupid it took her an hour and a half to watch 60 Minutes. <laughs> oh, he's a divorce guy right there. He's going to be a divorce pretty soon. Uh, he said that his wife was so overweight when she wore high heels, <laughs> she struck oil. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if Chuck got that talent. I, I have a lot of hidden talents over here, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk some pitching. Here's the field coverage pitching recap brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Dylan Cease, he was one out away from a no-hitter in his last start. It was amazing, and now he's facing this A's team that is on the verge of being the third worst hitting team in the history of the American League. They're batting 216 coming in. I wasn't going to say he was going to throw a no-hitter, but I was pretty confident he was going to do something similar to this. Six innings, just three hits, no run. I'll tell you why. You interview Cease right now about this game, you say, I, this is the weirdest I ever feel in the mound in the last two years. Why? Because he never pitched a game this open. Yeah. The comfortable. And I was, it's not easy to say, hey, uh oh, hey, listen, you guys won 0 0 now. Don't change. Don't change your approach. You're looking for a side young award. Don't go out there. And I'll tell you what, that's going to be hard for him to say, my God, I had to think about it, how good I had to pitch with the lead like this, what I have. So now he's 14 and 6. He's lowered his ERA to 2.06. I want to ask our audience do you think Dylan Cease should be the Cy Young Award winner in the American League? By a round of applause, what do you think? Nope. No, they're laughing. They're laughing. They're saying no. No, yet. I mean, you know me. You know how I feel. About Who's running our audio? I said, you know what's funny? I want. I feel. You know me. I believe. I. Uh, I know these kids. I love these kids, and he was Dylan C. Yeah. Yes. Right yes, now. yes. I was a big fan. I still a bigger fan now because I see him do so many things on the field. I love it. Yeah. Uh, but I think you gotta give me a couple of good outings and Mr. Berlander stay out of the system. Okay. Because he's not that. He's gonna have a very very tough guy to compete with. Okay. I'm still upsetting our audience. I'm saying, how about Cy Young Award for Dylan Cease, and they're laughing. They're honest. Get out of here. No, they're honest. They are they're honest. honest. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, this imaginary know. audience that we they, have. They, know, know, they might know about. you're than, more than you because you think you will be. <laughs> they know all, that. All serious. All serious. We're all kidding aside, being serious here. Yeah, he's still. It's Verlander. Okay. It's still, but we, but we keep it aside. Every, with every other start he has. With Verlander on the injured list, if he continues to do this, ladies and gentlemen. You say two stars. I say that. Yeah. I say that. I, I need two more stars, three more, more stars star to start making things a little flavor, a little yeah. bit tighter. But right now, I don't think Verlander it, it has been too good for, for, that, for that award. Okay. Let's hear from Miguel Cairo speaking after this insane win, 14-2, to two, brought to you by Comcast Business Beyond Fast. If you talk about late show, listen to Cairo. You kind of size that one up in a uh, nutshell. You know? yeah, it was nice to see those bats. And you know, Moncada, uh, Ganso, everyone gave good at bats. And you know, it was nice to put a, a quicker number in there today. What have you liked about uh, Moncada's approach at the plate? Since he just, he's there? been aggressive, he's swinging it. And that's what we're looking And I'm glad this happening right now in the end of, you know, like. Right now, when it matters, and he's doing a really good job, so and I keep playing him. He wanna play? He's gonna be in the line now. As far as what you seen, what you saw tonight from Dylan, sees as well. Dylan is that's what you're gonna see every time that he goes out there. He goes to the hitters, you know, 
a little kind of a little trouble in a few innings, but he knows how to come out of it. So it was good to. It was a a, a, a good around game today. Yeah, there's almost so many like accomplishments up and down the lineup. It's hard to keep track of them. But for Romy Gonzalez, I believe it was his um, first ever four-hit game. You know, what's it been like to see him putting things together? He's been he's been getting good at bats since he's been playing, and you know, I told him they are gonna be playing, and you know, I told him have fun, go out there, and just do your job, and don't worry about anything. You know, that's something that. What I like to do is just hop on, go out there and perform. This is going to sound crazy, but ever uh, worry about scoring too many runs? <laughs> it's always nice to score a lot of runs. I, I don't care about tomorrow. Today, it was a good day. You know, this, we, we talked about this before the game, uh, but from just to set the, the spark at the top of the lineup as well, just to, you know, how important was it to, to kind of just jump the ship on the rally? You know, Elvis is a, 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 a pro. Professional hitter, professional baseball player. He knows that it, he knows the game. He's very smart, sure stuff, very smart player. And you know, I'm glad that we have him and we get a chance to for him to to play it and and to be in the top of the lineup. He's kind of set the tone for for the whole lineup. It's good to be Miguel Cairo right now. The way this team is playing. <laughs> Do you know how much money that that office cost me? I break so many things in that office. Every time I walk off home run, walk off this, I was throwing stuff all over the place. And thank God Mikey, Mikey's a good friend of mine, Mikey go, they got to send you the bill. I say, I don't care. You continue to just be a new office here. It cost me at least two grand. Two grand. There should be a little signature something, somewhere or some kind of sign in that office that says, no, Ozzy it's, Guillen was it's funny because Kenny go like this. We left Oakland. Yeah. Two days later, Kenny go like this. <laughs> I said, what is this? <laughs> You're paying We're for it. We're not paying for this. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, uh, you know what? Yeah, why so pay for the three TV? They pay for the TV. The, the TV is one that's in the clubhouse, not in the office. Okay. I bring three TV there. And Mikey, Mikey go, you know how much that costs? I said, Mikey, get, stay away from me because I might break your neck here. Then I'm going to be in jail. Now, was this the uh, Kurt Suzuki walk-off home No, run? that was, no. That 3 TV was because, thank you to A.J. Persinski. Because? He was watching stupid football oh, games. football. And I said, the only people who can watch football games in, around me is going to be Alejandro because he's the only one I know about football. That's Everybody Alejandro. else is fake. Yeah. Alejandro knows his stuff. Yeah. And Ozzie Guillen Jr. because he's a big-time Chicago Bears fan. Yes. Poor, poor guy. All right. <laughs> Alejandro, by the way, doing a great job with this camera, and uh, he knows his football. Oh, very well, too. He's going to be in the show. And his real name is Glenn, but what we you call mean? him. Yeah. In, you, in your Alejandro. country or whatever you come from, or your family come from, do you know how to, do you, what's your name? Chuck what? Well, my real name's Charles. Charles? Yeah. And the, why are they calling you Chuck? Yeah, it's a nickname. Okay. Charles what? Charles Barkley? Charles uh, oh, you mean my last name or middle no, name? No, you, you have to have two names. No, you have Charles you Allen. Huh? Charles Allen. That, that's why they're calling you Chuck. <laughs> okay, that man, <laughs> his second name is Alejandro. So your middle name is Alejandro? Yes, middle name. I'm sorry, no second name, middle name. Okay. Alejandro. Right. And I remember his name because I'm very bad with names, and you guys know that. But you remember Alejandro. Uh, oh, no, I know why. Because my grandfather, yes. his name Alejandro, I hate his guts so bad. And I say, you know what? Because Alejandro made me hate him, I had to be the be, had to be the best grandfather ever, and I am. You are number one grandfather oh, in the yes. world, right here. 